Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back my dear friends, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you wherever you are in this part of the world whether in India or abroad. And this is as you know this is the DADM which is data analysis and decision making 2 course under the NPTEL MOOC series. And this co total course duration is for 12 weeks uh, which will be 12 set of lectures and total number of hours is 30 which converted uh, considering the fact that you have each lecture for half an hour. So, it will be um, 60 lectures and as you know that in each week we have 5 lectures uh, and after each week we have assignments 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. And uh, as you can see from the slide we are in the 7th week and we are in the 32nd lecture that means we have started uh, the 7th week. And my name is uh, Raghunandan Sengupta from the IME department IIT Kanpur. So, if you remember in the last class just uh, lecture just concluded um, the last day. So, we were considering the concept of the algorithm for the Topsys method. And if you remember I also mentioned that we will basically have to two matrices one is the decision matrix which will technically consider as either x or a or d whatever it is which is not normalized and we will have the weight matrix. Now, the d or the a or the x which is non normalized would be of the size m cross n when m is the number of uh, alternatives and n is the num number of criteria. So, the cell value i comma j would basically give, I explain each and every row accordingly to the fact that if we had the n comma m, but they remain the same you just take the, the transpose. So, the cell uh, for the m cross n matrix would be the effect of the ith uh, criteria on the jth value of the alternative. Here i and j are interchangeably used, here i would basically change from 1 to n and j would basically change from 1 to m. Similarly, you can have the, no in this case sorry, in, in when it is m cross n, I am using i j and it remains the same. So, i would change from 1 to m and j would change from 1 to n and we can basically find it accordingly. So, and based on that we will proceed. So, first I will go through the algorithm and discuss a problem both in the slide. So, it will be easier for us to make the values change in the excel sheet so that you will be in a much better position to appreciate that. So, we will consider this set x the metric consisting of priority scores assigned to decisions and alternatives. So, m would be again I am repeating sorry if, if, if I am repeating too much, but it will make things much better for you much easier for you m would be number of, of uh, alternatives and n being the number of criteria. Base, it will be based on the attributes and the decision criteria which is cj and wj would be the weights for the attributes and the, and the criteria which we have. So, w1 would be basically the weight I am assigning to the, the um, uh, criteria 1. Similarly, w2 for the second one, w3 for the third one. Similarly, wn would be for the this 1, 2, 3, 4 till n are in the suffixes would be for the nth criteria. Now, what it means that out of the total set of, of uh, criteria, I am giving say for example, if w suffix 1 weight is 0.15 out of 1 or 15 percent that means, 15 percent of the weightages for the criteria would be given to say for example, the combination of all the alternatives taking from 1 to m. Now, that 15 percent would basically be subdivided for 
the alternative 1, alternative 2, alternative 3 till alternative m, but we will basically subsume that such that we will have the overall weightages for each and every criteria and then find out the breakages or the apportionment for each and every criteria for each and every alternative. Now, we will basically find out using the um, ranking, ranking that means distance ranking would be used and the distance ranking is basically found out using R i, where I will try to find out that what is the ratio of the, 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 the value which is basically x i j or a i j or d i j depending on how I have been able to explain or how I have been able to write down the basically the priority matrix and that will be divided by the square root of the distances I, which I have. Now, the distances can be either be calculated along the row or um, along the column or along the row. Then we will find out basically the scores based on the, the positive or the best uh, ideal score distance or best ideal point which I mentioned as a PIS and, and the negative one basically being discussed by the NIS. Once the distances are, are, the, are found out or the scores are found out based on the ideal set of positive and negative, we will basically find out what is the overall ranking of the uh, so called sets which I will form which are positive in value and negative in value. So, now this sense of positive and negative which is basically known as the relative closeness and relative um, 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 separation matrix or how close it is and how far it is is something to do with the concept of concordance and discordance. In concordance and discordance we basically found out the level of liking and disliking based on the fact that for the criteria whichever criteria it is j th one how close or how far or what is the liking and the disliking factor which we have when we are trying to compare a k with a l. Similarly, when you try to find out a k with respect to a l based on the distance matrix you will find out those set of j's which are have a close measure with respect to the positive ideal solution and you will also find out those set of j's for which we have the positive value, positive means the how close they are to the negative ideal solution. Then again when we compare the lth one with the kth one again we will basically have the closeness matrix which is the how close, close they are with the positive and how close they are with the negative one and basically based on that we will try to find out the sets of so called concordance and discordance and proceed accordingly. So, we will find out the relative closeness, relative closeness would given be, be given by the ratios of positive divided by the sum of the positive to the negative one. Similarly, you can find out the negative scores also. We will start with for each and every jth one as it changes from 1, 2, 3, 4 goes to n and we will find out the closeness factors or closeness distance as well as the negative distances when we compare k to l or l to k and we will basically calculate these closeness factors and rank them accordingly. So, what I will do is that first I will show you in the respect to the excel sheet and then come back to the, the PPT slide for better explanation. So, this is the same problem, so it would be easier for me. I will zoom in in order for better explanation. Okay. So, consider this matrix, let me mention it so it will be easy for all of us to understand. So, consider this as A and this is I am considered as there I should make, make a give a so, this would be given as W this would be given as W I should uh, uh, create yes now it is fine. Okay. Now, let us go one by one. So, if I so here consider M. So, let me write down what is M. M is equal to 4 n is equal to 5. So, if you see 10 which I will mention let me mention it here. Yeah. So, these are technically 
So this MMM, sorry, sorry, my mistake, I have taken M along the, yes, so if this means that uh, the overall returns, positive returns what I am giving, getting for alternative 1 from criteria 1 is 10 value, 10 unit whatever it is. So, that can be based on any utility function. So, similarly, when I consider the overall weightages or overall value, no I would not use the word weightages, overall value which I am getting from uh, utilizing the criteria or, or finding on the effect of criteria 2 on alternative 1 is 25. Similarly, the effect of um, criteria 3 for alternative 1 is for 25. Similarly, for alternative 1 from um, the criteria 4 is 30 and finally, from criteria 5 alternative 1 is 15. Similarly, the corresponding values from C1 to C5 for alternative 2 are 5, 15, 35, 40 and 10. Similarly, the corresponding values from C1 to C5 for A3 and A4 are 15, 24, 25, 40, 45, 10 and 20, 30, 30, 35, 5. Now, we have to basically normalize them. Now, this normalizing concept I will use different functions accordingly and then give you a picture how it can be utilized. So, here I am doing the normalization based on the fact that I am trying to find out normalization along the particular column. So, it will be 10 square divided by the sum of the squares of 10, 5, 15 and 20. So, if you see the value here, you have C2 which is basically 10, I find out the square of that. So, basically I'll, I can write it down if possible in that I will write it here. So, the values are 10, 5, 15, 20. So, if I can write it down here, it is 10, 5, 15, 20. So, the value which I will find out for the first cell, I will use the red color. It can be one of those utilities can be 10 square. plus 5 square plus 15 square plus 20 square. So, this will be the value for 1 comma 1. Similarly, when I go to 1 comma if I go if I am going along the column or along the row. So, that is how you will get. So, let me check that how am I going here. So, if I am I am here I am going along the column. So, this would be 5 square. Now, let me use a different color in this uh, denominator. So, it would be easy for all of us to I will use uh, so a, with your permission I will erase it. So, it will is much easier for me to write. So, I will use the first the black, the bracket remains there would be one element, two element, three element, four element. So, I will use the colors accordingly. So, it will be 10, 5, 15, 20. So, 10, So, this is square. Five, 
फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज बेसिकली द वैल्यू विच विल हैव द वन कॉमा वन इफ आई कॉम टू टू कॉमा वन द वैल्यूज अगेन आई एल राइट इट फर्स्ट वैल्यू सेकेंड वैल्यू देन थर्ड वैल्यू फोर्थ वैल्यू सो आई एल यूज द कलर स्कीम सेम so this will be the second value if i go i'll write the third one so this is basically corresponding to 1 comma 1 this is corresponding to 2 comma 1 i can reverse according to row or column that doesn't matter let me write the value for let me do the first second if you have understood it please bear with me let me solve it so this is 3 comma 1 and there would be 4 comma 1 so i am writing the value so first was red i'll use the value red here red here then was green then was blue so blue is being utilized for the 3 comma 1 so obviously this will come here and violet was being used for the last cell so it will be so i'll have these values accordingly and similarly i can find out the second column third column accordingly so let us shift to so this comes out to 0.13 0.03 so these are the values just i'll highlight check if you see the 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 screen the values i am finding out the square divided by some of the squares simply 2 1 3 1 And four comma one. Similarly, one comma two, two comma two, three comma two, four comma two, three comma one, one comma three. Sorry, one comma two comma three, three comma three, three comma four. This is one comma four, two comma four, three comma four, four comma four. Finally, one comma five. Just check what is there in the numerator and denominator. This is two comma five. This is three comma five. This is four comma five. Now, interesting fact. is here if you see the normalization has been done along the columns so if you check the sum along the respective columns are all one this is one this is one this is third column is one fourth column is one similarly so fifth column is one now there are two questions so let us solve both of them what if we do the normalization along the rows so here it is so if you see i am taking 10 square divided by 10 square in sum 10 square plus 25 square 
plus 25 square plus 30 square plus 15 square. Similarly, when I go to this set, this will be 25 square and in the denominator everything remains the same 10 square, 25 square, 25 square, 30 square, 15 square. Similarly, denominator remains the same and in the numerator is 25 square, denominator remains the same. Same means the first square of each element in the first row and in the numerator you have 30 square finally you have 15 square divided by the, the sum of squares for the first row. Similarly, if I go to the second uh, row it will be numerators respective will be 5 square then 15 square cell wise I am not coming to the denominator. 35 square, 40 square, 10 square and the denominator as it you are trying to normalize along the rows which is the second row, all the values of the denominator will be same for this 5 cells and they are 5 square, 15 plus 15 square plus 35 square plus 40 square plus 100, uh, 10 square. Similarly, I go to the, okay I should So, it will be now 15 square in the denominator 15 square plus 25 square plus 40 square plus 45 square plus 10 square and in the numerators respective cell values are 15 square then 25 square then 40 square then 45 square then 10 square. Finally, it is denominator again same 20 square same in the sense we are going through the uh, that last row 20 square plus 30 square plus 30 square plus 35 square plus 5 square and each cell corresponding numerators are 20 square, 30 square, 30 square, 35 square, 5 square respectively. Now, again another interesting fact if you remember I had mentioned that in the uh, HP path method the sum uh, normalization along the rows is 1. So, now the question comes what if we use a normalization along the column, but not this utility function. So, let us see that is. So, I am using some theoretical values see theoretical utility function cubic 1. So, let me use the cubic 1. So, sum obviously keep looking at the sum values these these are important we will find it out very soon. So, now it has changed because I am changing the utility function value. So, this was cubic similarly I am going a little bit slow, so I can basically then speed up the whole process of the calculation. So, I take the cubic function on version being done on the cubic so called answer. So, the first uh, row is being calculated is being uh, almost completed hopefully we have done. So, let me check it is cubic everywhere. So, now if I cal copy what will happen. So, basically I find replace 3, 3, now this word is 3, 3, 3. So, I am now going through the row wise, uh, column wise 3, 3, 
three. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This should be three. No, you sh if it is if it is normalized along the uh, column, so the sum which is the yellow one point eight nine four one eight should come out to one. So let us check. If it is not, then we must have done some calculation mistake. But let me check. So there is uh, some errors. Let me check. Okay, this should be cube. Sorry, sorry. So let me check. It is cube here, cube here, cube here, cube here, cube here. The first uh, cell is done. Second one, cube, 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 cube done. Cube, 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 cube done. Cube. So, there is some issue. Let me check. Let me check the second column. I think we should be able to find out. Cube, 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 cube done. This is cube, 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 cube. Then we are doing it for the cube, cube, cube means I am trying to find out the cube function. So, finally, cube, 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 cube. So, this value is 1. So, obviously, there is some error. I will come back to that later. First, let me uh, do for the this is all cube done. So, it is taking a little bit long, but you will understand. The, the concept of normalization along the row and the column and the concept of utility. I mean now using uh, the column wise normalization, but I am changing the util function from quadratic to some sort of cubic form. So, and then then I am taking the cube here, last cell in the third column. E two, E three, four. Great. This is also one. So this is done. I'll spend few minutes at the last moment for this class. This is cube. Everything is done. So I do. This is also done. So, the last cell, let us see whether the fourth column is also 1 because we are doing the normalization. This was F2, F3, this should be 3, this should be 3. So, this is also done. So, now let us come back here. We have must have made some mistake. Okay, we omitted this one. So, it should, should be C 2 also. Okay, now, it should be 1. Yes. So, it is solved and let me. So, if we have few minutes, uh, let us wrap up uh, this with the last calculation. So, this is cube. This is cube for the uh, fourth column second cell. So, the fourth column, third cell, I am going cell by cell column by, so it will come out to be 1, because I am not doing normalization along the column. Finally, the last cell left to give us the answer and prove what I have been talking about. Okay. 
again I think there's a cube 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 um, there's some mistake right uh, let me check whether I'm taking all the values so there's some error in cube cube ah uh, yes so this is done so all the values are one and then we can expand it so i'll i'll continue discussing this problem in more details and use the concept of closeness concept of distance from the ideal and the non ideal one and also use the concept of say for example epsilon electra which i have done try to bring that in the concept of the topsis method also with this i will close the second uh, lecture for the seventh week and hope you um, have understood any quest questions obviously it will be answered in the forum as usual and have a nice day and thank you very much for your attention